Hello internet and today's video is going to be another book opinion those videos in which I give you my opinion on a book. Today's book is going to be The Giver by Lois Lowry. So this is probably a book you may have read in school. It's a pretty old book and I've had it forever. As you can see my copy of this is ancient looking just like the old dude on the cover. So I read this one on audiobook and I wouldn't suggest the audiobook. The voice acting is pretty okay, but they keep playing instrumentals in the audiobook at odd points in time, which just kind of distracts you from what you're listening to. The Giver is a book about a utopia sort of society where everything is perfectly placed. So they have a perfect idea of how everything's supposed to go. No one's crazy, no one's like too wild or imaginative. Everything is pretty bland and gray and boring and that's how everybody loves it. So they have this system set up where like kids are born to a female who that's her job. These kids are then given to parents who request a child and are able to take care of the child and the government approves it and then you go year by year for every year you're, you're alive up until the age of 12 when you are given a position in society you then do that position until you did the day you die so the giver follows a young boy and he's coming on his 12th year which is the year he's supposed to be given his job it turns out that he is the new giver this is a special role in their society of a person who takes in all of humanity's memories and remembers them. I don't know if there's a multitude of givers, I don't know how this works, but all the memories that humanity has is transferred to this one person and they hold that in. Pain, suffering, love, friendship, family, all of that goes into this one person so that everybody is pretty bland and emotionless and they don't cause any problems, right? This is how this utopia works. The idea is if everyone is equal, the same, no difference, everyone knows their place. If no one feels anything too extreme and if all emotions are tamped down, then humans can live peacefully. So to do so they need a vessel to hold in all of those memories. And the reason why they want to keep these memories around is because they see value in having these memories but they don't want the wider human race to experience them. So this young boy is now the new giver. He learns more about memories, he learns about snow, about color, about love, friendship, family, about pain and war and hurt and he learns all these different for intricate things about life and he kind of has to decide like can I handle this this is so different to what I've felt before and what I've dealt with before so I think this is a pretty interesting book I've, I've always been a kind of wary of utopia and the idea of utopia because it's always sort of freaked me out because I'm like how can everything be perfect because it doesn't seem plausible in my mind with the way that humans are and that's perfectly what is replicated in this book kind of showing you what would happen if humans made a, a utopia and the kind of sacrifices you would have to make, the kind of cruelties you would have to commit without even knowing yourself to be cruel. And that sort of idea persists and you're, you're going through it and you're like just realizing how much you lose when you want the world to be completely perfect. This book re a lot, reminds me a lot of The Gigantic Beard That Was Evil. That's a graphic novel by Stephen Collins, I believe. I did a book opinion on that too. That kind of followed along the same lines of how dangerous it is when everyone's the exact same and how much you lose by having all the sameness and all this blandness and all this grayness without uniqueness and color and just interesting things so I really like this if I'm comparing it to the movie I would say the book is better only because you realize how important it is that this boy is 12 to 13 over the course of the book is like a year so 12 to 13 and how important it is that he is that age and that he's dealing with all of these things because within that time period most people are going through maturity like they're going through puberty and they're trying to figure out their place in their wor the world that they live in because you're not quite an adult like you're not an adult at all but people keep expecting more of you yet you're not really a child so dealing with this transition 
chin and stuff while also dealing with this transition of realizing there is more to the world and that there was once like color and life in the world is a puberty in and of its own and I don't think the movie does a good job of portraying that you know because child actors good ones are hard to come by so they just gave the role to a 20 year old and when it's talking about in this book some things about puberty and like this kid just like acting emotionally once he realizes the stuff it doesn't come across the same when you're watching a 18 to 20 year old do it than when you're watching a 12 to 13 year old do these same things so i think the giver is a good book if you are into like um weird sort of utopia stuff and you like to watch how the world could be and the bads of that but also the goods because i don't think the purpose of this is fully pointing out like utopia is just a horrible idea but just the kind of sacrifices humanity is going to have to make when it decides to make a utopia and it decides to stress a perfect sort of life and it's just like you start to realize that there is there are too many things we will not be willing to let go and too many things that we like being aware of even though the world can be painful and hurtful to us that sometimes it's like it's good to hold on to those things so it was like I don't think this book was really a this is wrong and this is good but more of a you're gonna have to give up something and you're gonna have to figure out what's important to you and your society and all of this to really decide which world you would want to live in I would say the message of this book is sort of similar to Tender Morsels, a book I absolutely despise and I will tell you why in its own book opinion. But I preferred this one because even though it was kind of telling you that there is a valid reason to live in a cold and cruel world, a world full of war and horrible things and being knowledgeable about the horrible things people can do to each other, it's still full of light and love and all of these great beautiful things as well and those kind of combat the bad things where tender morsels was just a depiction of hopelessness and like you having to live in a horrible world and only if you remain ignorant do you get a happy ending this kind of says you can get a happy ending and know about the horrible things and having those horrible things really make the good things feel a whole lot better so i like the giver i might or might not continue in the series but i think it's a pretty good book it's a pretty short book if you're interested in sort of like philosophical type debate things then you might like this if you like what you're seeing here and you want to continue to see more click all those bunny buttons down below and goodbye internet.